Hello artists, welcome to the Fiber Art Center, level E. Let's get started. All right, in front of me here, I've got my sketchbook already set up. Ooh, some camera malfunctions. All right, um, I've got my name up at the top. Fiber Art is circled, I'm on level E, and I've got my messy mat ready to go. I am going to go ahead and get this moved off to the side. And let's do a quick look at our goals for today, what we're doing. It says, I can set up the warp on the loom, correctly weave the weft on the loom with tight spacing, start and end multiple colors in my loom, correctly secure the yarn when ending a color, and finish off the loom. All right, that sounds like a lot, but it is so much fun. This is one of my favorite weaving projects. Uh, inside the level E bucket, I want to give you a quick show of what we have here. Um, we have some yarn needles, we've seen those before, some scissors, some tape that we will need, mini looms, mini ones, and then we have our what we're going to be using for our warp uh, to set up our yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the warp out and, that, um, and the tape and a loom. All right. When we go to set it up with the warp, what we want to do is we do not want to cut the warp first. We want to cut it after we're done wrapping it. This might mean that you need to wait your turn patiently because there's more than one person. When I start my uh, wrapping, what I want to do is I want to end, put it close to the end. I want to put this close to the end. This will help when I go to uh, end my loom. This will help give me enough space to end my loom. Um, and then what I'm going to do is flip it over uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. And what I'm going to do is just go back and forth, back and forth all around while unwrapping my warp. I'm not cutting it. I'm just going back and forth. I could even pick this up if I wanted to. When I go to wrap it, I do not want to wrap it so tightly that it bends the loom. I do want to wrap it tight enough so that, look, these are all taut. They're all taut. The warp is what will hold together your loom. The warp holds it all together, holds all that yarn together. All right. When I have gone through my last notch, I want to make sure I'm ending on the back, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. I am not going to cut it quite yet. I'm gonna get it lined up before I cut it. I want to cut it down here at the opposite end. If I cut it all the way up here, this will make it really hard for me to end my loom. So I'm gonna cut it down here and then I'm gonna get myself another piece of tape. Ooh, there we go. Sometimes these scissors don't like to cooperate with this yarn. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my piece of tape and I'm going to tape this in place, making sure that it's all nice and taut. There we go. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to go over to the yarn station. I need to grab a piece of yarn that I like, two arm lengths, two arm lengths. Leave some at the end, remember, don't let the arm dis yarn disappear in the bin. Well, I remember from a uh, La the last couple times, or the last time that when threading a needle, I can pinch um, an end that is not raw. I can pinch an end by folding it in half, and then I can kind of nicely saw my way through and then grab it when I can with my little tiny pinchers. If I'm having trouble, I can ask a person at my table for help. Okay. <clears throat> When I start this, I'm going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. All right, I'm going to start by going under, then over, all the way across the loom. Sometimes I might need to stop. I want to make sure there's a pattern. If I'm not doing a pattern of under, over, then when I go to put my loom together or when I go to finish it, I will notice that there will be icky spaces that are happening. It won't be so nice and tight and beautiful. I do want to leave a long tail so that I can go and secure that here in a little bit. Um, then when I go back through, I'm gonna go the opposite way. I just went that way. I just went over towards the right. Now I need to go back through to the left and I need to go opposite. 
So I noticed that this one was under, if I go back under it, my yarn will go right back through. Let's go the opposite way. I'm going to start by going over, then under, over, then under, and I'm going to keep going under, over, and going opposite. When I go through, this will loop itself back. I do not want to pull this part over here so tight that it moves my warp. I want the warp to stay where it is. The weft, which is my orange yarn, the weft will stay together tight up and down, but kind of nice and flat on the ends. All right, I'm going back through opposite. And so now I need to go under, over, under, over, and opposite back through. This will create a space so that once I build up quite a lot of these, I can start to push them together. Again, I'm making sure that this part is not moving. I'm just making sure that it's nice and flat and then I can squish these together. All right, uh, before I go too much further, I want to show you how to secure this in so that it does not go anywhere. I left a long tail. Here's why. I need to be able to get my needle back through it. This is why it's important to be able to um, thread my needle correctly. I need to get my needle back through it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop with it. So I just came from that way, right? Or it's going, the end's going that way. So now I'm going to go back through and around so that now I've made kind of this loop. Let's see if we can get you guys closer. There we go. Um, I've now made this loop right there. And now I'm going to go, instead of going up through it, I'm going to go down. There we go. Down through my loop. And then I can pull it through. This will kind of make a little knot so that um, I can just kind of secure it in place. Just like that. It's going to be a very invisible knot. That is the super clean way to do it. All right. Then you would just keep going with your under overs, under overs. I am going to do some movie magic here so that I can show you a color change. All right, I've done some movie magic here. You can see I've built up through my last color here and I'm gonna squish it together here um, to make sure all those ends, see now through here in the middle, you cannot see it really any of my warp. All right, let's do a color change. Uh, when I do a color change, I'm gonna go back over to the yarn bin. I can either get a new color or I can get the same color if I don't like how um, short it is or not. I can always add more. Um, and then before I end it, I wanna make sure that I end it with a long tail, right? We talked about that long tail. If I were to go through the other side again, look how short that tail would have been. So I ended it early um, so that I can secure it. So again, I'm going to, I ended that way. I'm gonna go back through and then I'm gonna go the opposite way. So this time, because I went through on top, I'm gonna get this loop up through the bottom. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of secure it in place. I can cut the ends later. All right, now I'm ready for this color change. I'm gonna go ahead and re-thread my yarn here. There it is. And then I'm going to uh, continue to go over under. I need to make sure that I stopped, or continue the pattern where I stop. So this one is was over, so this one will be under for the next time. Sometimes when we do a color change, uh, it can be easy to lose our place in the pattern. So I really need to be paying attention where I am in my pattern. Otherwise, again, I'm gonna get those icky holes. I'm gonna leave a long tail. I'll come back later to secure that in place. And I'm gonna keep going over, under, over, under. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more. I would go ahead, um, or I am going to go ahead and do some movie magic again to get to our next color change. All right, I've done some movie magic here to get us to the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure off this uh, color here. And you would go ahead and do one more color. Your mini artwork this time will have three colors of wefting. 
uh, before you're ready to cut off. Uh, it might, it probably will not fill up the whole loom and that's okay. I want to show you though how to finish off the loom. When I have my color secure, I'm gonna flip it over to the back. I can now remove my tape from the backing and from my string here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a pair of scissors here and I'm just going to cut those pieces that are on the end here. I'm gonna cut them right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all cut off. My scissors are being... Let's do some movie magic here, get some new scissors. All right, <clears throat> I went ahead and got some new scissors. I got those all cut off. And then what I'm going to do is now they are cut down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and lift them off carefully. I don't wanna pull these through. Now my wefting is, or my warp is not secure. My weft is secure, the colors, uh, but my warp here, these white strings are not secure anymore. I could pull these through. So to secure it off, this is what I want to do. Take the loom off here. I'm gonna lay it out so it's all nice and flat here. You can tell there that I kind of moved it around too much. Um, but I, what I want to do is I want to take the first three, three to a point, three to a point here. So I have these three right here that I'm gonna start with and I'm going to knot them. I'm just going to make a nice big loop here and then get those ends through the loops. Get those ends through the loops. And I'm going to do that three at a time to both sides. I'm gonna do that three at a time to both sides. I want to make sure that when I pull the knot, I'm pulling it towards the yarn. This will secure the wefting that I have done. It will secure all of it. And if I'm doing it tightly, it will also get rid of any other uh, little holes that you might see so that at the end when you're all done, you cannot see any of the warp except on the ends. When you're done, it'll look something like this. You have your ends here, all nice and secure with about three in each, three in each, and then no holes in between. Happy creating!